Hello folks, today I'm going to show you step by step how to transform video animations into mocap data using Wonder Dynamic Studio and integrate them into MetaHuman in Unreal Engine 5. Let's get started. After uploading it to Wonder, we'll move on to selecting a character. I prefer choosing one character for consistency, which will make it easier when we retarget the animation. Just remember to check E, U, E5 scene and camera track options to ensure IK footwalk will be available. Now we just have to wait for it to finish loading. One hour later. Okay, in the Export Scene section, choose the UE scene. This will download the entire UE5 project. Open it and don't worry about the numbers I'm adjusting in the sequence. I'll explain that later. Click on the Skeletal Mesh icon, right-click, and choose Create IK Rig. Make sure you follow all the documentation from the Unreal Forum. Next, we'll create a new IK retargeter and adjust the bone names and positions to match MetaHuman. Once you're satisfied with the result, you can export it and it will crash. The reason for this is because I increased the frame rate from 24 to 60 in the video footage, which makes the character animation smoother and improves the quality of the result. In case you want some slow motion, we'll need to adjust this by bringing the animation back to the default 24 FPS. To do this, first, create an empty sequence, then add two characters from Wonder. Next, let's do some math. 60 divided 24 equals 2. 5, which means we need to speed up the animation by 2.5 times. After that, we can bake the animation, and it will convert it to 24 FPS with a smaller file size. Nice! Finally, replace the MetaHuman's position in the Wonder Dynamic Sequence. You can start recording some facial animations and put them together, then render it. So that's it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.